The White House insists a proposal to send asylum seekers to so-called sanctuary cities is not an attempt at political revenge. Well, President Trump revived the idea on Friday after White House officials said it had been killed. Democrats and other critics argue that moving migrants to states, counties and cities that do not cooperate with immigration officials would be cruel and illegal. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, good morning. Some people say the president's even doing this to distract from the Mueller report. I think there may be some truth to that, Nora. Right now, the White House insists this idea is still on the table as the president ramps up his attacks on asylum seekers and doubles down on his signature campaign promise to restrict illegal immigration ahead of the 2020 campaign. Over the weekend, Sarah Huckabee Sanders said this idea of moving detainees to sanctuary cities was brought up at the staff level and dismissed because of logistical concerns. But after the president appeared to embrace it last week, they're once again looking at how to make it happen. But using detainees for what even the president suggests is political retaliation would face immediate legal challenges, ones that would be hard for the administration to surmount. But to get to your point, Nora, for President Trump, this keeps immigration in the headlines. This enrages his rivals and galvanizes his base. All good reasons for President Trump to want to keep this on the table for the time being. Gail? Yep, Paula, there seems to be a strategy there. Thank you very much.